My first question is for Bev. Now, Remembrance Day was first observed on 11th of November in 1919 to mark the armistice and the end of the First World War. So why do you, why do we continue to celebrate Remembrance Days? Bev, why do we continue to remember Remembrance Day or to mark? Thank you very much, Brad, for that question. I, I think that the older we get and the more we understand and the more that we see the condition of the world as it is today, the more we remember why we continue to celebrate Remembrance Day. It's to remind us that we never want to be in the situation that they were in wars of the past and world wars. Now there are people predicting that we're on the brink of, of another world war. And who knows if that's right or not because every day in the news we hear of something else happening in a country around the world that is in a similar aspect to our world wars. When I was young, I played in the local band and the local band always went to the Remembrance Day services because we played the music for that. And I went and I listened and yeah, I knew what it was about. But the more I grow older and the more I hear the stories and frankly, the better job that's being done by the Legion to promote and explain Remembrance Day, the more I think about what the what ifs. What if people who had gone to war and given their lives for us hadn't gone? Would, would we have different aunts and uncles and cousins and, and, and children? It makes us think and it makes us not want to be ourselves or anyone in our families or anyone that we know to have to go and make that sacrifice. There's a lot of stories being told these days about people who are currently in the armed forces and all the places around the world that were served, that they are serving in. And I'm sure people don't really recognize where the Canadian Armed Services is doing peacekeeping missions. So to answer your question, hopefully for me and for the other people in the room, the reason that we continue to remember is so that we are never faced with the same situation that our world soldiers were in the first and of course, second world wars. Mr. Tosa. 